Rob, the, the, the last decade has seen councils absorb major funding cuts, uh, increases in demand, and what does that say about the state of financial management and local government? I think from my perspective, having first worked with local authorities back in the 1980s, it's still at a much higher level than it was then, but there's no doubt it's under pressure, it's under strain. I think it's an aging workforce, uh, particularly at the senior levels. Whilst I think it's, it's still pr holding up pretty well in total, I think there's some significant challenges going forward. Well, I agree with all that, Paul. I think, I think the evidence is that financial management in local government is strong compared to many yeah. other parts of the public sector. Public Accounts Committee uh, has recently commented that it thinks governance in local government is relatively strong. Mm. However, local government has been placed under more pressure and strain than mm. other parts of the state. And I think we all feel mm. we're at a watershed yeah. moment where mm. although people generally are doing a good job, it might not be enough. Working with the range of authorities that you do, you must see uh, quite a wide range of financial management um, skills. For me, I guess good looks like authorities that are planning for the medium term, thinking about their long term liabilities, taking their time mm. to make very well reasoned mm. and evidence based decisions. Mm. At the other end of the spectrum, less good financial management looks like quite a lot of firefighting mm. and frenetic decisions mm. and it's hard to break into doing things for the medium mm. term when you're facing yeah. a bit of a, yeah. a cash crisis. Yeah. What, yeah. what do you think? I, I think that's absolutely right. I think we see, we see the full spectrum uh, and I think it does start from the top and it's a leadership thing. It's a leadership thing politically yeah. and politicians need to take brave decisions and not prevaricate. Um, and the corporate management team needs to take decisions and support the Section 151 officer uh, in taking those decisions. Um, and then Section 151 officer needs to provide yeah. that leadership uh, to their finance team and, and across the authority. No one person can pull this off yeah. on their own. Hmm. It, it's not just the 151 yeah. officer, it's no. the chief exec, it's the service yeah. directors, it's the cabinet member yeah. for finance, it's, it's scrutiny. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's hmm. a system, isn't hmm. it? So Paul, I'd, I'd like to thank yeah. you for this piece of work um, on financial hmm. foresight because I think the foundation of good public financial management is the quality of information hmm. with which one is working and actually the importance of comparative data, of research. And I think what you're you know, saying here is that high quality information with modeling mm. and some, you know, some sort of talent and capability mm. in that can really help finance mm. functions. That's right, Rob. I think what we've tried to do with Foresight is present an opportunity that is holistic that can be easily communicated to members and senior officers who don't have to be expert in finance to understand the concepts um, and enable the authority as a whole to meet its financial challenges as opposed to a sort of silo based, yeah. you need to make cuts, you need to make cuts, you need yeah. to make cuts. So that's, that's what Well, I think to it's a great place to start yeah. and it, it's a good way into the conversation. Yeah. And as you yeah. say, it will lead to different yeah. conversations mm -hmm. and different results. Yeah. I, th I think uh, a key part of this is, is, is to take a longer term view mm. and managing for the longer term. And that's, a, that's something that members and officers need, senior officers need to lead on, to think about the authority in five, 10, 15, 20 years yeah. time, what it looks like, um, how it can be sustainable, the most resilient councils in the longer term are probably the councils that have resilient yeah. communities. Yeah. And in a way, the job of local authorities to help the population have good housing, good skills, low crime rates, to add to the economic productivity of the area, in the longer term mm. helps the council's mm. financial position as well mm. in terms of acute expenditure. Mm. I think it's system thinking allied to devolution which probably helps council's mm. resilience. In the meantime, you've got to maintain reserves, you've got to maintain mm. a balanced budget. None of that is easy, mm. but it gives you the prize to play for what might be possible in yeah. the longer term. Yeah, absolutely, yeah.